What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Scoop Quality Title Show! Woo! Today's a very special on Kajum Miss uh, uh, Rumor and first look at the Kenobi series. Choo, 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 choo. See my lights But before we start, this Kenobi first sneak peek of the series. Please subscribe down below to the YouTube channel, Thus Scoop Lady Time Show for more fun unboxings, reactions, breakdowns, sexes. Awesomeness, what ifs. Wow. Ooh, lots of what ifs coming, guys. Lots of what ifs coming. And Omega ness, and Grogu ness, and Ahsoka ness, and all that fun stuff is just his all the. Yeah! Get ready. Get ready. I gotta fix my hair. Get ready. Get ready. So, guys, the first look at the Obi Wan Kenobi series is right upon us. Is ready. Is coming. The trailer is. Might be around the corner. Might be tomorrow. Might be a day from now. Might be a month from now. We don't know. But all we know is that Kenobi is coming May 25th. Here's the poster here of Kenobi. Ha ha. It's fun. It's fun. But, so EW Entertainment, what's the name of it again? EW, yeah, the cover of EW has released a cover of Obi-Wan Kenobi that you can look right here at it and his beautiful God, Jesus to himself. What a God. He has an age, Ian McGregor. Does not age, he is 50, does not age. Um, so, we're gonna go through everything. Where, is, let me find my little post. And, if I, I'll pull up a picture right now, it's on my computer, but I'm gonna pull it up right here so you guys can see it. 1999, the version of EW, Entertainment Weekly, and 2022 of Obi-Wan Kenobi, just with a beard. He looks the same as a Padawan in The Phantom Menace. And now look at him now in his own series, the Kenobi series. He has not aged, he has not aged. The picture, the picture sees it, you can see it. It's impressive, most impressive, most. So we see an Inquisitor. We see who, let's see, let's see some pictures. I'll show the pictures. As I'm reading everything, guys, I'm so excited. Um, I just want Clone Wars flashbacks in this, I really do. We're getting the Grand Inquisitor from Rebels. I hope the guy who voices him plays the actual guy. Um, I'm excited to see everything. The Force is strong with Ian McGregor. We see Joel Egerton, I think that's how you spell it, see, as Uncle Owen back. We see Moses Ingrid, who plays Riva, an Inquisitor, a new Inquisitor on the Kenobi series. We see Kenobi hiding in a wall, on a wall. We see a photo right here. The photos will appear here every time I read them. Trouble around the corner. What kind of Obi-Wan Kenobi, what kind of Obi-Wan Kenobi will meet in Obi-Wan Kenobi, says star Ian McGregor. We find Obi-Wan at the beginning of our story, rather broken, faithless, and beaten, somewhat given up. Then we have another picture of Moses Ingram. Her name is uh, the force sensitive inquisitor Reva. I think that's how you say it, Reva, R-E-V-A. Reva, we will pry, will prove a formidable new foe as she seeks out Jedi in hunting, in hiding for the Empire. Director Deborah Coe and writer Joby Harrelton describe the character as ruthless, ruthlessly ambitious. Now we see a cave scene here with Obi-Wan sitting in a cave. Do we get that scene from Clone Wars with Qui-Gon Jinn talking to him? I hope we do, because uh, I'll punch my camera, because I love Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon's one of my favorite Jedi's, too. I love Qui-Gon. McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi is a master Jedi and a master of... Wait, what is it? Oh, I just lost it. Oh, his he is dwelling on Tatooine and wherever he is set up to shop to watch over young Luke Skywalker. So young Luke Skywalker is in the Kenobi series. He is watching from this cave. That's where he stays. And, and um, can't find the words. And watches over Luke. Watches over Luke. Again, an Inquisitor. They share a common dark side goal, Ingrid says, about the villainous trio of Riva, the Grand Inquisitor, and Darth Vader. They're on the same team. As for what stands out to Ingrid, Ingrid, Ingram about her big bad role, it's all heart. 
What does that mean? Don't know. Then we see little Obi-Wan Kenobi. He doesn't like flying, so he's gonna take that Eepop. I think Eepop, the animal. You can see the picture right there. I don't know, I can't say, I can't say Star Wars names, guys. I butcher all Star Wars names. I'm very sorry. And then Uncle Owen and the Inquisitor face off. Is back as Uncle Owen. We don't necessarily like his odds in the face to face off with Reva, but as Y Smuggler once noted, never tell me the odds. Thank you, George, for casting Joel Egerton as Uncle Owen. Last Deborah, last director, Deborah Crow. That's all I can say. And then Obi Wan with his cloak on and his saber in the winds of maybe that's downward Tatooine or another planet, maybe Coruscant. Maybe he's maybe he goes back to Coruscant. I would love if he goes back to Coruscant and sees the Jedi Temple, what it is now, and just like hides. McGregor is all cloaked up again as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he's got his places to go, like a new planet of Deia, which is sort sort of has a Hong Kong feel to it, says writer Joby Harrelton. It's got a graffiti written nightlife, and it's kind of edgy. It's just got a different lane and a different feeling to it. There you have it. There you have it. I would love, it was by Dint Delton Ross. Uh, you can get your physical copy out March 18th or on newsstands on March 18th, wherever you get the EW magazine. But that's it. We see all the photos here, all the photos you could see when I was reading them there on the side of me. Um, and yes, guys, we are getting the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I am very excited for this series. We just need Clone Wars flashbacks of him and Anakin. I would die to see those again. Um, and uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this series, guys. And I see new Inquisitors. I can't wait to see the Grand Inquisitor. We're going to definitely see other Inquisitors. Um, we have one already named, uh, Uncle Owen. I can't wait to see Uncle Owen again, because I think they do have a feeling that Luke is Force sensitive. I think this Inquisitor is going to be a very special Inquisitor and pay attention to her. Um, I cannot wait for her. Uh, I can't wait to see the Inquisitors. I really can't wait. I'm excited because we don't, we never saw them live action. We all saw them animation. So let's see how they do it. Let's see how they're doing. But one thing I expect for the Kenobi series is him go to different planets and maybe meet up with Bail Organa, Ahsoka. Like maybe he finds Ahsoka. I want them to meet again, Obi-Wan and Ahsoka one last time. And then that's it. Um, just like Anakin and Ahsoka did, like they did, they fought off each other. Um, I want Obi-Wan and Ahsoka to meet for the final time, and then they go their both uh, separate ways. Uh, I would like to see Clone Wars flashbacks. Uh, I want to see some Coruscant. I want to see some Mandalore, maybe Satine. Not flashbacks of Satine, but, you know, some mentions of Satine. Bo-Katan, maybe. Some... I just want to see everything. I just want to see everything in this series. Younglings, Order 66. Oh, I just want to see everything. But the biggest one I want to see is Clone Wars flashbacks. And I think we will get it. I want to see where Commander Cody is in this time room of Star Wars. Because we know in canon, not canon no more. In, well, I could say Legends. In Legends, he was a brutal commander and he died in action. That's how he died. But no one liked him because he was so like, he didn't like the, um, the troopers. He didn't like the humans. He wanted the clones. The clones are bred for combat. We are not. Mm -hmm. uh, but I hope you guys like this. Uh, follow my uh, Twitter page, Scavoli, at Scavoli Tano on Twitter and Chris Scavoli underscore Tano on Instagram for all your latest updates. Make sure you guys subscribe down below to the YouTube channel, The Scavoli Tano Show, for all that awesomeness. Um, I'm excited to bring Kenobi. I'm excited to do reactions for Kenobi and breakdowns with uh, Dom Tober, Caitlin Sith, Nilda, Rick. I, I can't wait for Kenobi. I'm waiting for the Bad Bats to drop too as well. Um, I want to see my little daughter again. She hasn't told me anything. She has not told me anything. Yeah, she hasn't told me anything. I uh, got posters coming for the What If series. Uh, shirts, hoodies, everything, guys. I'm going all out this year for y'all. Going all out. Uh, but be kind to one another. And may the force be with you, my friends. Always. Bye! In my life, when you find people who need your help, you help them. No matter what.